Hello everyone, Mike Kinnershot, KJ4FEQ. My cameraman is K4IFX. I have a uh, new camera. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget it. It's a Kodak Plug and Play ZX3. It's the waterproof model. So I can take it in the lake and see if it will actually work. Nice thing about the new camera is hopefully I can shoot some uh, video out and if it rains we can use it. So the purpose of this video is to show uh, KC9 TET, how to hook up this amplifier. So I have several options here. I have several things we need to do. I have my jumper, I have my radio, and I have the actual amplifier. Let's start with this, some, with this first. This is a Maha amplifier. It's very similar to the Mirage. The same buttons are basically the same. So first thing we have here is we have the power button. Make sure you turn the power on or it will not work. I can't tell you how many times I've forgotten to do that. The second button is the uh, amplifier. The preamp, what it does is any incoming signals that can enhance them where you might hear them better. You don't always need it, but uh, so turn it on and off. If you, depending what you just give it a shot and see how it works. The mode button is critical. If you look at the uh, little symbols on here, you see that it says in and out. Make sure that on the mode button that you push it out for FM mode. All our analog, our D-star radios are on, on the FM frequency when we're hitting repeaters and doing simplex. And uh, like on the Mirage, in this one there's little lights that will light up when you're transmitting and then the preamp's on and there's a power light. So on the very back of this, now you'll see that I have an antenna connector, antenna coax, and a transmitter coax. So logically, our, this is my external antenna to my house. All, all I'm going to end up doing is just plugging this in here. And this is the transmit, transmitter. This will actually go to my radio. So let me go ahead and set my radio up. This is my ICOM 91AD radio. And so you can, see, you can see I've already attached my little jumper here. Basically takes it from SMA to uh, the to the coax. So what I do is I just go in here and the PL259 end. I just attach that there. So it's connected to the radio. On the very back of the amplifier, I'm going to just take this and put it in the transmit side. So now my radio is connected to the amplifier. And I'm going to take my antenna and make sure it's plugged in. So my antenna is connected and my radio is connected. Last and most importantly, we have power, the Anderson power pole connectors. If you look over here on my little project desk, you'll see my uh, little 10 amp, 10 amp. This is what I use to test things with. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and connect the power. And just snap right in. So here we go. Let's see if it powers up. All right. The, the, the transmit's on, so the power's on, and the FM button is out, and the preamp, I'll go ahead and turn that on. So, here we go. See if I can hold this up where you can see it, and I'll use my radio. I'm actually connected to our local repeater, so let's see if I can KJ4 FEQ for a radio check. You can see when I touch it. Hey Peter, how you doing? I'm making a YouTube video for uh, John on a hook up an amplifier. So you're on our YouTube video with the camera I just got. So thanks for giving me a check. Uh, not a problem. Not a problem at all. Yeah, I'm up here. I'm actually watching his uh, arrow antenna uh, J pole uh, video. So uh, good, uh, good uh, with timing. Yeah, I've been in private chat with him, so I wanted to do this real quick, and I got this new camera. So I'll tell you what that is later. But uh, thanks for giving me a radio check. We're going to stop the video in a minute, and I'm going to start uploading. So KJ4 FEQ, and I'll be monitoring. KJ4 FEQ, KJ4 VAX. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut off my radio. 
and just turn off the amplifier. So that's how you hook up the amplifier. Um, there's nothing really hard to it. And um, I mean, uh, and the other thing about this to bring to your attention is if you actually get a radio that will do single sideband, all you'd have to do is press that in and it would actually work on the single sideband frequencies. So these amps are very uh, powerful. They'll do different things. And the other, um, be aware that make sure your radio is set to 5 watts because what happens is that the input power coming into this determines what the amplifier puts out. And depending on the input frequency, and if you look at the specifications, it'll tell you 5 watts does 35 watts, uh, 2 watts does 30, whatever the value is, you just need to look at it. So that's how you do it. So 73 is everyone, and have a good, good evening.